Hello everyone, I'm here with Sean Brosnan, the Marketing Director of the Humane Society of Bay County. What exactly is your organization for? We are for, uh, our main key thing is, is finding uh, forever homes for homeless animals in Bay County, be it that through adoption and fostering. That's just, that's our, that's our one key goal. Um, if there is a homeless animal, be it through an owner surrender or whatever, we find it that forever home and we, we make sure that it stays like my rescue with me forever. <laughs> Okay, and you said there were some misconceptions, uh, misconceptions about your organization? Yeah, there, um, you know, we, we've been around for a while, and a lot of people assume that we are, one, animal control, or that we can, two, pick up strays, and we can do, we're, we're, not, we're not animal control, and we, we can't pick up strays. There's a county ordinance in place that, that stops us from picking up strays, and states that all strays need to go to animal control, which, which works out in, in the one key part that if you ever lost an animal, be it a cat or a dog, um, and, you know, you, it stops you from having to call seven different Different organization saying hey do you have my cat do you have my cat <laughs> you can just call that one and, and know that you can go there to that one spot so it's kind of consolidated in, in, in that option but um but yeah we, we don't pick up strays at all um, and we're not a policing agency so if you do see animal abuse you definitely need to call Bay County Animal Control they do have a dispatch line and they send officers out to to handle that situation okay so you told me your organization is involved with events what events have you done in the past Events that we've done in the past, we do, we do plenty of them. Uh, the, the main thing to point out, uh, another misconception, is that we do not receive any government funding of any kind. Uh, we are a no-kill shelter, 100% no-kill, so if you had an animal brought to us um, through owner surrender or anything, that animal would stay with us until it got adopted. So being that we don't receive any government fun funding, we rely on um, donations from the public, uh, be it through fundraisers and events, um, just you know, grants that people have, just anything like that. So we do constant fundraisers. So we're pretty much doing one like once a weekend almost. Uh, and we had this real successful one uh, just about two weekends ago. Uh, it was our chicken wing championship. And we had it at one Stanford Center in the TGI Friday parking lot. Um, and it was awesome. Despite inclement weather, we'd raised about $5,000. Had about 22 different wings. Um, it was pros versus Joe. So you had um, professional restaurants and you had people like me and you out there grilling these awesome wings. So it was good food. It was good times uh, despite the rain. And, and we were raising some good money. What about upcoming events? Well, we've got our 5K, second annual Furry Friend 5K that's at A.L. Kensaw Park on April 28th uh, from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, registrations from 7 to 7.30. It is 25 per person. You can walk with or without your animal, and it's a professionally timed event. So we're going to have Freedom Sports and Warrior Race timing out there, giving microchips, you know, to get your race time, you know. So, and that's going to be something really, really cool. Um, you can, like I said, you can walk with or without your animal. Some people, you know, have multiple animals out there. You can do employee teams, like if, you know, Gulf Coast State College had a team they wanted to sponsor of employees. That would that's something that we could take as well. Um, we've also, on May 19th, we've got uh, something that we do, we try to do at least once a month with Books A Million called the Books A Million Book Fair. And we're there, you know, from 12 to 4, and any purchases you make through that time, if you say, hey, you know, I would like that 10% that I would normally save to go to the Humane Society, they make that happen. Mm. And so that's a, good, that's a good little charity for us as well, so. If anyone is interested in volunteering, what kind of jobs do you have available for those people? We have tons. We can always use volunteers, uh, be it from events, um, to helping out at our animal and adoption center and helping out at the thrift store, um, just because we get a lot of donations there, so we can you know, kind of sort through them. Um, if they're interested in volunteering, they can check out our website. Um, they could also go to volunteer.adoptme.org um, and fill out a little request, and then someone will call them if it meets those, you know, the credentials that they have. Um, we're also going to have a volunteer orientation on April 15th, so that's this Sunday. Um, and they can check out our website for more information about that, the times and stuff. But, um, but yeah, if they're interested in volunteering, there's always something fun for them to do. Okay, and if they want to get in contact with you, do you have a phone number or? I do. Um, they can call our shelter at 850-215-7120. Uh, they can call me on my cell phone, 850-691-2725, if they're interested um, and, and have, have any questions about anything that we do or and they got a question for me or maybe a future event they think we could do. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming no out. No problem at all. I thank you all for having interview. us. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is Sean, uh, Sean Brosnan, and I'm Lauren Anderson for GC Wired News.